Good morning. It is currently negative 14. Yay. Um, I am heading to work. Not late, but I'm running a couple of, you know, I'm leaving my house later than I normally do. So, um, yeah. And after this, I got to go to the store, get some stuff for the video tomorrow, or after work, rather, and uh, all that fun jazz. Oh, what else is going on? I'm just going to tell you guys something. Low tire pressure. Perfect. It's just what I need. Evidently, I got to put air in my tire at some point today, too. But, uh, yeah, so super cold out, like always. It's going to be super cold tomorrow. Really super duper cold Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to technically warm up a little bit during the day and Thursday it'll warm up during the day and looks like maybe Friday it might actually start warming up at night. So hopefully. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head to work. So catch you guys later. The sun is shining and it is the weekend. Starting now. So I gotta head into town. Get the last few things I need, and then I will be uh, heading home to do a couple of things, feed animals, water animals, all that fun jazz. Then uh, sometime tomorrow I gotta run to the post office, get a package that Jack of Trade sent me, and then heading out to the somewhere I haven't really even decided where I'm going yet but I'll be going out and doing my uh, my Jeep camping trip um, supposed to be negative 20 tomorrow I think I'm gonna bring my little indoor outdoor uh, temperature thing that my dad sent me um, so I'll be able to see what the temp is outside versus inside That'll be a blast. But, uh, no trains. So, yeah, should be a fun trip. I'll be, uh, and go. And go. I'll be, uh, reviewing a couple of things from Packet Gourmet. Uh, I bought the steam bake oven that Dub has. And then I uh, went ahead and uh, they sent me some Texas State Fair chili and some uh, other stuff. Some molten, molten chocolate lava cakes or something like that. So I'm going to have that for dinner and, and uh, dessert tomorrow. And I, I don't know, i got to figure out what I'm going to do for breakfast and then uh, make coffee and everything out there tonight when I get home I gotta got some coat hangers I'm gonna make something for my buddy heater and yeah so I'm just rambling but um, I'll check in with you guys here in a little while oh hello um, so this is a continuation of episode 6 of the Out of the Woods special. Um, I didn't upload it last night. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of content. I was like, eh, yeah, I'm not going to upload a half minute long video. Um, it is currently negative 6 degrees out here in lovely sweltering Minnesota. And we are heading to town because instead of burning through batteries left and right for my big buddy heater, I decided that I'm going to purchase a um, 
the power adapter for it. Uh, I, I had that solar generator so I could plug it into there to help disperse the heat and everything in my Jeep. Um, let's see if I can get this to pick up the cloud maker. Okay, there I am. Um, so, yeah, I got to run to Runnings, which is a couple towns over, and uh, pick that up. And then I got to stop by the post office, uh, Jack of Trades, the man of many uh, talents and extra survival items. <laughs> uh, he sent me some stuff. Um, some, he owns a freeze dryer, which I'm hoping to purchase here in the next month or so. Um, and uh, he freeze dried some different random things, some uh, sliced ham and some other stuff and was kind enough to send it to me. And I'm also working with him on what will inevitable, inevitably, 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 yeah, be my next camping meal, which is going to be a Minnesota favorite, uh, tater tot hot dish, other states call it uh, tater tot casserole. But uh, that's something that Jack was kind enough to uh, help me perfect. He uh, freeze dried all the ingredients and mailed them to me. That's what's uh, one of the things in this package I'm going to get at the post office there in a couple towns over. Um, to uh, start experimenting with that. And after I get home from my overnight tonight, I will be, uh, let me clean my glasses. I will be uh, tinkering with that and bringing you guys along for the experiment. So, yeah. So, uh, we're going to run the runnings, <laughs> stop at the post office box, i got to stop at the grocery store and get some cornbread mix for um, one of the items I'm going to be having for dinner, which is uh, was sent to me from Packet Gourmet, a uh, nice family-owned business out of Texas. So, um, they were kind enough to, I, I bought the steam bake kit and they sent me uh, some molten lava cake and um, molten chocolate lava cake, I think. I don't, I don't know, I have to read the package. I love their packages too, by the way. But anyways, they sent me that and they sent me um, some Texas State Fair chili, which I've never ever had. So that, that uh, sounds pretty good. I think it's gonna be fantastic with some cornbread that I'm gonna cook with the uh, steam bake oven. So, catch you guys here in a bit. Running into runnings. Ooh, weed whackers. Wouldn't mind one of those for the house. Lighting. That's the biggest can of paint I've ever seen. Huge. Okay. Okay. Not the kind of heating I'm looking for. That would heat the Jeep. Okay, there it is. That's what I need. <sighs> Score. So I stopped at uh, Cub Foods and they had, uh, bam. They got bigger ones, but these small ones are just fine. Four net carbs because it's made out of flour. I've been eating the spinach ones, which are only three net carbs, but I, uh, and don't get me wrong, the spinach ones are good. But I think the, uh, flower one's going to be fantastic. So now we got to go to the post office, you know, town over, um, to get the package from Jack of Trades. 
Well, unfortunately, the package from Jack of Trades got held up in uh, transit and shipping transit, transit. I don't know. Um, so I did not receive it. I'm hoping that maybe for some reason it's in my PO box tomorrow. If not, I'll get it by Monday and we can start tinkering with it. But uh, I'm not sure what time to start this video for tonight because it's so cold out. I probably won't be doing much anything outside. So, yeah, I'm not sure. But anyways, so see you guys in a bit. Real quick almost to my house and I ordered propane yesterday and I said when do you think it'll be delivered oh sometime early next week okay just seen a propane truck less than half a mile from my house from the company that I uh, ordered from wouldn't you think that they would uh, maybe correlate that stuff and uh, you know um, get uh, on the same page and just drive down here and deliver propane? That kind of makes some sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know. But we're going to see if we can make it out to the pasture. I don't know how much snow is on the road and how possibly stuck we can get. So let's go find out together. Here, I'll uh, turn around so you guys can see. Let's see if I can even get out here. Oof, duh. I forgot about these bumps. snow out here. We might be camping out here in the pasture tonight in the Jeep. Oh, come on. I should have shut traction control off. Two tracking. Something I used to do back home in Michigan all the time when I was younger. Can't do it much out here. I mean, there's certain places you can go and stuff like that, but. I gotta back in so I can unload the Jeep. And pack it up. Get this video rolling. I missed my backup camera. I went through a car wash and it broke it. So now I gotta like use my mirrors and stuff. Which I'm doing a terrible job at. Jesus. There we go. Alright, I think I'm gonna call this a video and get it uploaded. So you guys can check it out. 